Hi everyone, welcome to Snetly. Today video we are going to see about math modules in the Snetly library browser. These are the math module functions. We can see one by one now. Okay. This is math function with arithmetic and trigonometric function. This will consume the scientific processor. Okay. Just right click to see the configurations. Here we have two channels, channel 0 and 1. They are the outputs Q0 and Q1. Okay. Uh, to assign the register values, here here we, uh, we can use the help window to assign the values. Here we have 0 to 24 numbers. Each number have different functions. Here for 0 there is no function and uh, for 1 Q0 is equal to A0 plus B0. Likewise we have 24 functions. We can for example we can see some of them. Uh, just type the three num number 3 here. For number 3 here q0 is equal to a0 into b0 apply the register values and back to schematic to give the input value we can go take a constant and uh, to see the outputs we can take a display here okay okay just right click the constant to assign the values we can give some random values to 4 6 and 8 ok apply the register values and back to schematic ok now I am going to give the inputs 1 2 3 and 4 ok <coughs> now I am going to give the output to the display to see the output we want to run the system ok you can see the output 8 4 into 2 is equal to 8 ok likewise just right click the 1 and for channel 1 channel 1 function we need to check these values we can perform the addition in the channel 1 uh, ok just give the number 1 here apply the register values and give the output to the display you can see the output as 14 that means a1 plus b1 that means 8 plus 6 is equal to 14 ok these are simple addition and multiplications ok like this we have uh, difference of a0 and b0 absolute of a0 minimum of a0 and b0 1 by a0 mod of a0 comma b0 like anything ok now we can see uh, a random example like uh, mod a0 comma b0 ok the number is 11 and here we can see what uh, we can see the log a1 ok log a1 is 24 just apply the register values here 11 is mod of a comma b0 you can see here the mod of a comma b0 is number 2 ok fine at the same time uh, log of b0 that means you can see here 24 q1 is equal to log of a1 log of a1 is 6 log of 6 is 0 0.778 ok fine ok Likewise, you can perform any other mathematical function according to your applications. Here, one more thing, we can also use waveforms, sign single phase waveform this is. You can also do arithmetic operation to the waveforms also. To see the output in the waveform, I am going to take a DSO, just deleting this and output and uh, connect the sign input to the math function a0 and b0 and just right click to change the values here we can give the uh, value number 1 ok and that is a0 plus b0 and here we can give the 0 that means no function ok 
just give the output to the channel 1 okay fine you can see the sine waveform and we can also take one more square in sorry sine input and we can also give the input to the here and uh, this input to a1 and b1 and output to channel 3 here we can you can see here the amplitude is amplitude for channel 1 channel 1 is 2.5 and uh, amplitude for the channel 2 you can see here amplitude for the channel 2 is uh, 1 and uh, amplitude for channel 3 is also 1 now i can off the other channels and you can see the amplitude here and you can see this amplitude also now this okay likewise you can perform waveforms in the arithmetic functions also okay next we are going to take a math math function in legacy with reference to the legacy processor just delete the scientific okay here the difference between legacy and scientific is in legacy we we can perform only the arithmetic operations here we cannot perform any trigonometric function but this block is used to perform three output three function at the same time here you can see the values 0 to 15 we have three functions each functions have the same value but different outputs here you have no function in the 0 and q0 is equal to a0 plus b0 2 is a0 minus b0 likewise we can do an example here i'm going to give the value like uh, a random value 4 okay and uh, here we can go with uh, minimum of a1 and b1 8 okay likewise here 15 a a2 power 3 that is 15 okay apply the register values and i'm going to apply the values here we have 4 now we need 6 again to values 10 and 12 we can give okay apply the register values and back to the schematic just apply the values okay and give the output to the display okay now you can see the performing operations a0 and b0 that is 2 and 4 here we have given 4 and you can see a divided by a0 divided by a0 divided by b0 that means 2 divided by 4 is equal to 0 0.5 and likewise 6 and 8 in the a1 and b1 in the q2 output for q2 output we have given the number 8 and you can see here the minimum of a1 and b1 is 6 okay the minimum of uh, 6 and 8 is 6 that's the answer okay then in the uh, function 3 we have given the value number 15 that is q is equal to a to power 3 you can see the answer here as 1000 okay fine okay next next we can take the gain gain is nothing but a simple multiplier okay you can see the value i'm going to give the value 2 okay i have given the two four inputs and four outputs you can see the gain the default value for gain is number one you can change the values here also 
you can see here 2 into 1 is equal to 2 4 into 1 is equal to 4 and 6 into 1 is equal to 6 likewise you can change the number here to see the different input outputs here we can give number 4 and uh, here we can give the number 6 just apply the register values and back to the semantic you can see the change of value that means 2 into 4 is equal to 8 4 into 4 is equal to sorry 4 into 6 4 into 6 is equal to 24 likewise you can also use this function to the waveform source also I'm going to give the sign you can see uh, to the number 4 and uh, to see the output I'm going to take a DSO ok we can see the output now as a sine waveform ok you can see here the values are frequency is 50 and amplitude is 1 you can see the waveform here you can use this for waveform blocks also ok fine now we are going to take a next one next one is offset ok we can delete this offset is nothing but a simple adder ok just give the values here and output here ok three inputs and three output has given you can see the simple addition here here the uh, default values are 0 you can see the addition 2 plus 0 is equal to 0 and 4 plus 0 is equal to 0 you can change the value here to 3 and 4 like ok apply the register values and back to semantic 2 plus 3 is equal to 5 4 plus 4 is equal to 8 like uh, 6 plus 0 is equal to 0 that's all ok this is for offset next one this is simple adder or subtractor ok just deleting this you can see the values here now we are going to give the values I have given 5 inputs 1 2 3 4 and 5 ok and the outputs 1 2 3 4 and 5 ok you can see the values here here a b a plus b is equal to 2 plus 4 is equal to 6 and a minus b that means 2 minus 4 is equal to minus 2 the likewise c and d and e also ok that means c and d is equal to 6 plus 8 is equal to 14 likewise these are simple addition and subtraction this block is simple adder or subtractor block ok fine you can see that here there is no configuration because this is the external input block ok next next this is simple multiplier or divider this is also simple here there is no configuration in the because it is a external input block ok we have given 4 inputs and 4 outputs ok you can see the multiplication simple multiplication here here we have given the value 2 and uh, for a is 2 and b is 4 2 4 are 8 here ok that's a simple multiplication a bar b that is 2 bar 4 is equal to 0 0.5 likewise c bar d 6 into 8 is equal to 48 and c divided by d is equal to 6 by 8 is equal to 0 0.75 that's all ok fine next uh, this is the inverse ok just delete the old block and this is just the inverse of the input you can see the input of inverse you can see the in just inverse of the input inverse of 2 is 0 0.50 inverse of 4 is 0 0.25 inverse of 6 that is 1 by 6 is equal to 1 point sorry 0 0.166 and inverse of 8 is equal to 
zero point one two five and inverse of ten is equal to zero point nine zero point zero nine nine and uh, inverse of twelve is equal to zero point zero eight double three like that. Okay, fine. Okay, next absolute values. Absolute is nothing but a we can get absolute value it will uh, eliminate the negative values like we can give the negative value here minus 2 sorry minus 2 now play the register value and you can see here we will get a absolute value as 2 okay this is the block this can be used in various application as per your requirement okay here the difference this is the difference block just delete the absolute block here we can see the difference of a comma a and b the difference of a and b is minus 2 and minus 4 is 6 ok and you can see the difference of c and d also ok you can see the difference here the difference between 6 and 8 is 2 ok ok fine and the last one is adder or subtractor this is we can give 8 inputs that means 4 addition and 4 subtraction operation at the same time with uh, we can get the single output also see here I am going to give the values to addition operation and to subtraction operations ok just getting the output to the display you can see the value minus 12 here minus 2 minus 4 is plus 2 plus 2 minus 6 is minus 4 minus 4 minus 8 is equal to minus 12 ok that's all that's all for this video thank you for watching